Kitchen Talk with Katie B. Exactly. We're doing something new today that I haven't done before. We're going to see how it goes. I get sauces sent to me all the time for review. And I used to be over on the Red app reviewing them all the time. But now I spend a lot of time over here on TikTok. Alexa, volume down. Alexa, volume down. Which I'm talking. Okay. So I get sauces sent to me all the time and people want me to review for them. And so I used to do that over on the other app and it would take me like hours to edit and stuff. And then I got to thinking, well, thank God for this app. I can just do a live, review it, and then upload it later to the other app. And that saves me so much time and energy. So what we're gonna do today is talk about these sauces that were sent to me. These are barbecue sauces that were sent to me by a small batch barbecue saucer. This guy was actually featured on PBS a few weeks back because the sauces are so good. Uh, they're actually pretty unique and I tried not to look at them because one of the things that I really love about my reviews is I'm learning about this stuff at the exact same time you're learning about it. I don't read anything before I record. I don't sample anything before I record because I wanna try and give you the most authentic opinion that I can possibly give you. So tonight we've got these sauces from BT Lee's. We've got the Clevelander, which is a maple mustard barbecue sauce. See, the point of my reviews is if I really like the sauce, then I carry it in the store because I'm not gonna carry things in the store that I haven't tried before. Because how can I tell you it's good if I don't even know it's good? So BT Lee sent me this and I get really excited with barbecue sauces because I get so much hot sauce that not everybody loves hot sauce. Some people like barbecue sauce. So let's see, this one says, don't be fooled by this pretty face. The award-winning Clevelander can stand up to all your culinary creations. Chicken, yep. Pork, definitely. Bratwurst and burgers, you better believe it. Maple and rosemary, woo! Maple and rosemary swirl together with subtle undertones of hatched chilies to create a sweet start with a smooth finish. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, I love everything about that. Maple and rosemary? Okay, you have my attention, so we'll be sampling that. And of course, I will be pouring them in shot glasses because that's sort of becoming my thing now. The other one that they sent me is called Jalapeno Business, okay? Let me try and swipe these because if y'all are talking to me, I can't see you. That helped. I tried to grow lemon drop peppers this year, but my sheep ate the plant. Well, then we need to eat the sheep so you can still experience the pepper, you know what I mean? One thing we really love about your reviews is that you're doing them. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Have you tried Mad Dog 365? Yes, I have many times. Your husband has yet to let me know how to send the money for you. Oh, Cash App, Venmo. You know what, really, I've been held captive since I was 19 years old. Don't pay anything, just come get me, come get me. Nothing, 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 sorry. Anyway, back to the sauce, people, focus. I love your comments, thanks. So jalapeno business BBQ sauce. I wanna know what it's about. Are you a nosy pepper? Well, yes. This sauce is perfect for you then. Citrus and heat combined to get all up in your grill and blow your mind. That sounds like a really fun time. Green chilies and jalapenos combined with hints of tart mango serve up tangy attitude in all the right ways. This is a damn good sauce, no joke. So far reading these recipes or reading the ingredients in these sauces, they're already something that I would wanna carry because they sound so unique. So over here, we've got maple and rosemary in a, a barbecue sauce. And what do we say here? We've got jalapenos and mango. Yeah, okay, I'm about that life. I like it when people get creative and culinary. I can take it hot, but it doesn't mean that I always want to. I really like flavor, flavor first. You're buying sauce soon? Thanks. Wear a red headband if you need help. Do you want me to blink? Give me a number, okay, I'll blink. He said five bucks. Well, if you want, a deal's a deal then I guess. Just go ahead, spend the money. And last but not least, something something sauce, okay? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm very happily married in my life. Try it on, all right, so with the some something sauce, sweet and tangy barbecue sauce, obviously you have good taste since you picked up this bottle. Why, thank you, BT Lee's. <laughs> I think I do have great taste. <laughs> You don't let just any barbecue sauce grace your grill. You're looking for something different and mouthwateringly complex. I love these. That's, that's so cool. Say hello to your new best friend. 
packed with tantalizing layers of sweetness and tanginess with notes of coffee, cinnamon, and sumac. Something something sauce is all that and more. You're welcome. Hashtag BT Lee's. So all three of these have really amazing sounding ingredients. I've heard really great things about the maker of these sauces and I've made some chicken right over here. I don't think anybody can see it. You see my chicken? So what goes better with barbecue than chicken? So we're gonna, we're gonna try this. They do all three sound amazing. So this is what happens is like makers start hearing about my page and stuff and then they start sending me sauces and then they, you know, again, I don't just carry anybody and it's not that like, I don't carry certain select people either. I just wanna make sure that, whoa, I knocked it over. I just wanna make sure that what I'm carrying is good and that I know that it's good. And I feel like that's sort of what sets me a cut above the rest. You know what I mean? So here we go. We're gonna start, we're gonna pour the, the Clevelander, which sounds like a dirty joke. Hello from Eastern Maine, cheers, cheers. Hello from South Carolina. I love the color of this one. It's beautiful. There we go. So we got that one there. Okay. And then we're gonna do the jalapeno business. I love plays on words. Makes me happy. So obviously this one's like super jalapeno-y looking. And we'll pour that one in the OU shot glass if you got any Sooner fans out there. This is for you, baby. Okay. So now we got the jalapeno business. And then last but not least, turning, tuning in from Oklahoma here. All right, Boomer Sooner. Hello from Alaska, hello from South Carolina. So many people just got excited over the OU shot glass. Sticker and drinker is barbecue sauce though, my man. How do you do? Thanks for stopping by. That is one big pikey. My husband has a crush. And then some something sauce. Beep. Alexa, skip. I want to hear that right now. Ooh, freshness guaranteed. And there's that one. All right. So we got orange, green, and brown. Can I scoot these up some? I need a little bit of space. Would you still be able to see them? Cool. Thanks for all of your feedback. Boop. Nope, Katie, that's not how that works. That's how that works. All right, that, now you kind of got the idea. Hello from the UK, hello my love. Hello from Indiana, and now what IN stands for? Uh, I want water, so uno momento, because this isn't spicy eating, this is flavor eating, and I need to cleanse the palate. So, excuse me. I was trying to find my favorite uh, mason jar, but I couldn't, so it is what it is. Now, here we go. So this one is supposed to, let's see, bratwurst and burger, maple and rosemary. So let's see which one of these is the best with le chicon. Okay, this is fun. I like this. I don't feel in danger. I just feel like I get to enjoy my life today. What a great break. Maple and rosemary. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. No global level today. That's delicious. That's really sweet, but then also tangy. Mm, and I usually really like tangy. It's not mustardy at all. It's almost like caramel. That's really, really good. And then there is a little hint of the rosemary in there, but not a lot. Really, did this one have mango in it or was that another one? No, maple. So definitely taste the maple in that. That's really, really good. And then just a little bit of tang. Yeah, sauce that shiz up. And well, yeah, that one's really, really good. I like that one a lot. So now jalapeno business is the one that I've been most excited for, for obvious reasons. And this one was Green chilies, jalapenos with a hint of mango. Just like a really weird combo, but I'm for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Still sweet. Absolute, mm, a little bit burn. I do detect a slight capsaicin kick, if you will. This one's really sweet too. What did we say? I gotta repeat it again, just so I can remember. Tart mango. I don't think I'm detecting any tart. It is sweet. It's a little tangy. It's a little spicy. And it's sweet, sweeter than I was expecting. So this one to me is a little bit tangier. This one to me is a little bit more on the sweeter side. Both are super good. Both would be amazing on whatever you're grilling, of course. Caught another. I'm so excited that you caught another one of my lives. And thank you for the roses. All right, now we got one last one. The something something <coughs> sweet and tangy BBQ. Alexa, scan. No. Um, oh my gosh, what are the ingredients? This one has notes of coffee, cinnamon, and sumac. Uh, like poison sumac, but yeah, not. All right, coffee and cinnamon. So I think I'm, I'm most excited about this one. Sweetness and tanginess. I'm absolutely in love with anything coffee. Uh, so, let's see what we got here. Hello from Scotland again. Hello from South Carolina again. We're trying barbecue sauces tonight. All right, so we got that one in there. And let's see how it. That one's my favorite. That one is easily my favorite. If we're gonna rank them, I don't know if I can rank them yet. I don't know if I can rank them yet. I think. This one's got more of that traditional style barbecue flavor that I'm used to, but it's also got that robust coffee cinnamon thing going with it. But I still think, what's up? Happy the Clown Six. I wanted to instantly say that was the winner, but now I'm not so sure. And the thing is, when we first started with this, I was like, oh yeah, Jalapeno Business is gonna be the winner for sure. But now I'm starting to, I don't know. I don't know. I'm freaking awesome. You freaking awesome. No, you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's delicious. I think, oh, I thank you. Oh, I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, man. No offense, Jalapeno, your business. But um, we're fighting for first right now. So I guess, I guess that pulls you out of the running. You are good, and I love you for who you are. But... Yeah, I'm just double checking. Mm -mm. It's delicious. Beautiful flavor. But I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if it's me, you know? I don't know if it's speaking to my soul. Let me cleanse my palate once more. So I can try this guy over here one last time. And then I can make a final deliberation on the winner of these delicious sauces. No one got smoky enough. Honeycuts Unite. That one's got like a smokiness, an oakiness maybe. This one's got a sweet tanginess. And then this one over here is just like, oh, it's got a little burn to it. It's kind of sweet. It's a little friendly. I am going to have to say the Clevelander is my favorite. This one, it seems like also you could just like dip your food in it, just like I just did. Or if you brushed it on food, I feel like it would get really deep down in it and like stick to it. So I feel like this one, this one's definitely the winner. This is something you'd want to brush on ribs. It's got a really robust flavor and I'm a really big fan. This one's super good too. But if I had to rank them, we got one, two, and three. So there you have it. BT Lee's. If you enjoy supporting small business and you enjoy new culinary different barbecue sauces or sauces in general, go check out BT Lee's. He's over on Instagram. I do not carry him in the cap cave yet, uh, but yeah, definitely go check him out. He's also been featured on PBS, I believe, for his culinary works and masterpiece. Maple mustard barbecue sauce. I'm Southern. We do love our mustard-based barbecue sauces. I didn't even pay attention to that to start with. You nailed it, BT Lee's. I am a huge fan. 
Yeah. Thank you so much for sending this to me. It's so much fun to try barbecue sauces sometimes because I just never get to, but these are delicious. Really gonna have to talk more of, about these sauces. So anyway, again, if you're interested in any of these sauces, go check out BT Leaves. His name on Instagram is just like it is right there on the bottle. Go check him out and go get you some. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for the love. Uh, so if I require the crazy heat, what is that? If you require it, I don't get it. Do you ship to the UK at all? Yes, I do. As of today, we ship to the UK. We're still doing a test run though. So yes, yes, go to the Cap Cave, go Splunkin. We're working on it. I think we're there, go check it out. Uh, I, I have had super hot barbecue sauces. I did super hot challenge yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. All I had to do was come on here and just eat chicken with you guys. Thanks. Fun fact, did you know that I used to have such anxiety about eating in front of people that I never did? Ever, like not at school. I didn't even eat lunch at school. Uh, I would just eat in the library, or not even eat in the library. I would just sit in the library and uh, be really anxious and awkward until the lunch hour was over because I refused to sit with people. And Lord help, as an adult, when people were like, let's meet over lunch, I would always pretend to be sick so I didn't have to eat in front of anyone because my anxiety was so bad. And now thanks to stuff like this and you guys, I'm okay with it now. <laughs> I've grown a lot because of this app, really. I have, it's really cool. Of course, then again, eating in front of a camera and not having to look at someone's judgmental face as you like all over your food. My anxiety is terrible. You'd never know it, but it, it is. The struggles are real. All right, so that's it. Go check out BT Lee's. Uh, even if you don't want to buy, go follow him on Instagram. Makes great stuff. BT Lee's, thank you so much for sending this to me. You are awesome. And uh, can't wait to see you guys for the next live because we're going to start doing this more often. All right? Whether it's hot sauce, barbecue sauce, whatever's sent to me, we're going to start reviewing it live. So, God bless. I'll take care.